What's up everybody, it's your main man Spice Adams bringing to you another edition of Off The Grid. This time I traveled to Los Angeles to have a conversation with my good friend, I'm talking about NAACP Image Award winner, Emmy Award winner, author and actress, Tabitha Brown. This episode is going to be very good. See what I did there? Check it out. All right. We are here <laughs> off the grid with Spice Adams. I got my great friend. I don't even want to say good friend. I got my great friend, Tabitha Brown. Well, very good. I thank you for having me. How you doing? Amazing. You doing great? I'm doing great. How's the health journey? Health journey is good. I you've been working it out. I've been working it out. You know, I've been having the, the issues with my hip. I still have them. Your hip? Well. I don't know what happened. Uh, that's the thing about age. It just, <laughs> you just woke up and just I like, think. It uh, it started out about two years ago when I was dancing at a party, and I had jumped up, and when I came down, I had felt a little pop. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna go and keep on, go and keep the party going. Yeah. And then that next day, I could barely walk, and I was like, Oh, I done did something. Dang. And I never really got it. You know, it kind of just subsided, but then it kind of came back after traveling so much, and so I had went to the doctor. And I had I had talked about this. I had been traveling and working and doing so much since the pandemic. Yeah. I didn't realize how much weight I had gained. <laughs> and so when I went to the doctor, she was like, my sciatica had flared up. Everything was happening. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you know, uh, do you think maybe it could be the weight gain? I, I was like. What you talking about? What, what weight gain? What, what you mean? She was like, because I'm just looking at your chart and you can get. <laughs> <laughs> you had gained about 22 pounds. And I was like, oh, you want to fight me? <laughs> I hadn't did nothing to you, lady. <laughs> I, I I come in peace. <laughs> what I ever do to you? <laughs> and so it was a reality check, right? Mm -hmm. Because I wasn't on my normal. Because, man, I had traveled, <clears throat> I think, six times uh, every week for like four months on a plane back and Sheesh. forth like and i was just doing wear and tear on my body but that's also, on a private jet or is that that's commercial i, I mean i gotta ask i was commercial oh okay okay I didn't, <laughs> you know some people you don't know. know that about tab I, some people don't know that about tab that's that's i don't know what he's talking about. so disclaimer is <clears throat> tab and i me and tab we go back and forth on a on a sarcastic tip so to to y'all, it may seem like oh he's trying to be funny. That like this this is what we do. Like I'm it's the like little a brother. brother. And yeah, <laughs> yep. it's nice. I Keep like it. Good. Got the fans going. Well, you you know I'm a woman of a certain age. <laughs> 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 and the 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 uh, personal summers have begun for me. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> personal summers. <laughs> so that's why I got this fan on because although it's fall for most people. It's still summertime for Tab. Mm, I get so, it. Yeah. I get it. So who is Tabitha Brown? Who who is Tabitha Brown? Is she an actress? Is she an actor? Mm -hmm. Is she uh, a singer? Uh, <laughs> I am not a singer. Not a singer? Um, okay. Some would say I'm an athlete. Uh, some <laughs> would say that. Mm. It's an inside Is it a, like a joke. small number of that sum? Why would you say that? I don't know. I'm Why just would it be a small it number? I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm sure it's not. It's it's kind of a joke because Chance always saying I ain't, I ain't an athlete. I'm just active. Mm. Uh, even though I used to play basketball in, in high school. But I, yeah. how many years? Four. Four whole well, years. I started in basketball. Well, I started seventh grade, and then tenth grade is when I stopped because I had a car accident. Oh. And so then I ain't play no more. But um, but no, I'm you know I am a believer. <laughs> I am a wife, and I'm a mother. Uh, a daughter, a sister, a friend. None of those um, have anything know. to do with athlete. But. No, you asked who I am, so I was getting back okay, to the I'm question sorry. because you got to stay focused. You right. Okay. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and a lover of, of all things and people. I, I, and I, I like to spread joy and love in the world. That's that's who I am. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, a free woman. Why, why are you so positive? Uh I've been in the dark before. It's no fun. Mm. Right? Yep. And so uh, I choose it. I'm intentional about it. Don't mean I don't have bad days. Mm. Don't mean that some days I ain't sad or upset. But I'm intentional about joy and positivity. How did, how did you meet Chance? We grew up I, together. I, I I haven't heard the story. You ain't never heard the story how me mm -mm. and Chance met. Mm -mm. Stop. I promise. I don't I don't watch your videos. Oh. <laughs> but we friends. <laughs> 
<laughs> you see what I'm saying? Uh, but we grew up together. <laughs> I was just playing, but I, I hadn't heard the story. But we grew up together, you know, we both from Eden, North Carolina, very small town. Mm. Uh, I met Chance the like first time in like fifth grade, and uh, he was so mean. So he pressed the issue, or you pressed the issue? Oh, eighth grade. We we both kind of oh, he had a girlfriend. A mutual thing. So we started dating in eighth grade. Okay. He had a girlfriend, and I had a boyfriend. Your dad knew that. That every day he was my little boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. God. Well, but my daddy said he wasn't my boyfriend. No, my daddy said that's your friend. <laughs> you know, Chance was my friend until I said I do <laughs> in my daddy's eyes, gotcha. and we had a whole baby. He was still my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Had a whole baby. <laughs> My daddy said, "Until y'all are married, <laughs> that is your friend." Okay, but um, but he had a girlfriend. I had a boyfriend, yeah. and we had went to a, a birthday party, eighth grade. Okay, and, and we but we knew we liked each other, and so we ended up kissing at the at the birthday party. And mm. I was like, "We we'll have to break up with our our boyfriend and girlfriend." So <laughs> it became official then, and we we were together all of like eighth grade. And my sister was like, all right, you about to go to high school. You don't need no boyfriend because a lot of boys over there. Yeah. And I was like, oh. So I told Chance, I said, hey, we got to break up because my sister said it's a lot of boys <laughs> over at the high school. And, uh, you know, I got to see what's out there. Uh-huh. So he hated me all the high school. <laughs> Man, he wouldn't even speak to me. And he'd see me in the hallway. He would roll his eyes and turn. And I'd be like, oh, But man. I always had this, like, pain in my stomach. Chance said it was called guilt. <laughs> He was like, that was guilt you was feeling when you would see. Because I would see him and I would just get this like weird feeling in my stomach. Uh-huh. And so our senior year, we kind of had got back to being like friends, you know, and um, where we would at least speak and stuff. And on our graduation day, my mama said, uh, hey, go get Chance and, and bring him over here because I'm going to take a picture of y'all and y'all's cap and get him going to use this at y'all wedding. I said, <laughs> <laughs> Will you stop saying weird stuff? That's crazy. Yeah. Because also in 10th grade, she had told me, we was at a basketball game, and me and her were sitting together, and Chance was hugged up. He had walked out. He was hugged up with his little girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And I, like, rolled my eyes, like, all right, whatever, you know. <laughs> and he was, and she was like, I don't know why you're doing that. She said, because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. I said, what? She said, that little girl going to get pregnant. Chance going to have a baby. But that's your husband. I said, well, you don't know me, honey, because I ain't marrying nobody who got kids. <laughs> so, that's what you're supposed to think at 15, you know. Sure enough, mm. mama was right. And after high school, I went to college in Miami, and he was in North Carolina at school. And I woke up one night, middle of the night, he was the only person I could think about. I was like, just replaying all the times that I would see him and I would have that weird feeling. Yeah. And thinking about, we had saw each other at a, like a going away party before we left, and like I still had this like weird feeling. I had got emotional. Mm-hmm. I was like, man, I think I'm in love with him. Wow. And so I found his number in the middle of the night by like three or four in the morning, called his dorm. Woke his roommate up and was like, it's an emergency. I need to talk to James Brown. And when he got on the phone, I was like, I don't know if this going to sound crazy or not, but I just told him like how I was feeling throughout the years and what I would feel when I would see him. Mm-hmm. I was like, I think I'm in love with you. And if you don't think that that's crazy, and if you feel like maybe you in love with me too, call me back at this number tomorrow. And he was like, uh, he ain't say nothing. <laughs> he was just like, uh, all right. <laughs> and then hung up, right? The next day, all day, I waited. I mean, I waited all day. He hadn't called. And then about 5 or 6 in the evening, the phone rang. And he was like, did you really call me at 4 o'clock in the morning? I was like, yeah. He was like, man, something wrong with you. I was like, but you must not think I'm crazy because you called. <laughs> and so we agreed to see each other when we came home for, like, homecoming, mm-hmm. right? And so this is – uh 97. And so we got home, homecoming. We saw each other, and I didn't have a feeling. It, it, it that thing. It wasn't there no more. It wasn't there. I was like, uh oh. Maybe I was lusting. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I don't know if that was it, you know? <laughs> and we both kind of just stopped talking to each other. Mm-hmm. And then, because uh, that was like November. Then April, it was spring break. And I was back home because I had quit school. And he was still in school, but he came home for spring break. Mm-hmm. And I saw his uh, his cousin. Blackie heard this story before. Right. He looking like. <laughs> right. He said, I'm sorry, I didn't introduce you, Blackie. Blackie, Blackie said, don't worry world, about it. Yeah. World, Blackie. Um, <laughs> but I saw his cousin walk into his house, and I was like, where you going? He was like, I'm about to go over to Chance's house. You want to give me a ride over there? I was like, yeah, I felt that thing in my stomach. Yeah. And I pulled up in his driveway, and he was standing out on the porch. And the thing just Started exploded. And we've been together ever since that day. 
Wow. So that's that's it. And that was ninety eight. Wow. So, uh, how many brothers and sisters you got? Me, I have one sister. One sister, yeah. and she's older. Yeah, six years older, Tasha. All right. So, what was that like? Your upbringing, like, what was that like with your your mom um, and dad? I had a good. They upbringing. did a great job with you. Well, thank you. Yeah. You know, I had a. I was very blessed with, with great parents. Uh, you know, I grew up in the country. I'm from from a small town. From I call it. I say Eden, but I grew up in Stoneville, outside of the um, city line, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, grew up in the woods. And so everybody knew each other. And, you know, oh, yeah, everybody knew each other. Yeah, yeah. We would, we'd be playing in the woods at the pond. And mm-hmm. uh, I was a tomboy growing up. I loved to be outside, climbing trees, playing football, because uh, I, I was an athlete. We're just going to let that simmer <laughs> in, the, in the atmosphere. Uh, but, yeah, and then, of course, you know, I would spend time with my great-granddaddy, John. That's where I, you know, would go to the farms and uh, – do all the things that, you know, the farm kids, I guess, did and mm-hmm. playing with animals and stuff like that and going to the strawberry patch and, you know, picking strawberries, fishing, doing all those things that, that I wouldn't do. I, you know, I wouldn't fish and stuff now because I'm vegan. But uh, back then, I mean, I lived a regular, you know, country life, but big in the church, grew up going to church. My granny was, uh, you know, Pentecostal. So she was holiness, as she would say. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I grew up going to church with her until, like, fifth grade because my mom and daddy weren't going to church they would drop us off and we had to go mm-hmm. <laughs> and then uh you know my daddy had a car accident and he like died and came back when he came back we started going to church together as a family and so mm-hmm. then i went baptist so we saw you know grew up in the baptist church then and so going to church was a big thing big family my daddy wanted 12 so i had a bunch of cousins and stuff so every sunday was like family reunion mm-hmm. uh but yeah i had a great a great upbringing yeah. you know in the south but it was good. So talk to me about your dad, cause yeah. whenever somebody mentioned your dad, or when you mention them, you yeah. got this huge smile on your face, and it's just yeah. like you can tell how much you love your dad. Yeah. And I want my girls to feel the same way, you know, when somebody mentions me, mm. or uh, just like how they light up. You know what I'm saying? So talk to me about the relationship you have with your dad. I am a daddy's girl uh-huh. right through and through yes. uh i think you know my mom they, they had two girls right they desired to have a boy but after me my mom couldn't have any more and so i feel like i was the boy my daddy my daddy never <laughs> got so you know he taught me all the things you know about cars and you know tires and you mm-hmm. know like mowing the yard like everything and i loved it i i whatever it was i wanted to learn it mm-hmm. uh he also taught me about hard work excuse me my daddy he worked 48 years at the mill. He missed 12 days of work in 48 wow. years, right? He he just taught me about being like like A1, like good to people and being honest about what you're doing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know, we just, we have always clicked. I ain't never really been able to lie to my daddy. I used to be like, man, I hope I ain't got to tell my daddy, you know? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I ain't, I'm no good at it. Uh, <laughs> But that's my best friend too, right? Yeah. We talk about everything. I, listen, this is a true story. As a, as a young girl, now my mama was amazing, right? I, me and mama was tight too, but me and daddy was just so tight. I remember getting my period for the first time, sixth grade that morning. I was in the bathroom. And I was like, oh my god, I called my daddy. Mm-hmm. Like I yelled, daddy, like th- for him to come to the bathroom, and he opened. He was like, oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> you call your mama for this. <laughs> But that's how comfortable I was, yeah. you know. But my daddy also was very strict. Mm-hmm. And I remember there were times as a kid that I thought my daddy was too strict and he was mean. But it, it still didn't take my love away from him, you yeah. know. And he was the disciplinary. You know, my mom would discipline us, but my daddy was the one that, you know, he would also give us uh, options mm-hmm. with discipline. You know, he'd be like, you want to get grounded or you want to get this whooping? <laughs> 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 Which one you want, you know? <laughs> Uh, and my the dad quick as well. He didn't ground you for like a, a day or two. You be grounded for like weeks. Mm. You know, I, I was grounded for a whole summer one time, but I still <laughs> love my daddy. You know, I'm like, I, I deserved it. You know, I should I shouldn't have changed them grades on my report card, daddy. You know, so um, but yeah, I just I, I love him. He's such a a phenomenal man. Mm. When did yeah. you decide to go vegan? Uh, six years ago. August of uh, 2017. Right. Why, mm-hmm. though? Oh, because I was sick. Everybody knows this story, I think, but 
Uh, but yeah, I was sick. And so <laughs> nothing I was doing was making me better. You know, I was taking drugs that the doctors would give me. I was getting shots in my head. I was uh, taking Dang. steroids. Listen, when you are desperate to feel better, you mm -hmm. take pretty much whatever they give you or offer you. Mm -hmm. And uh, if anything, I think all of that stuff was probably making me worse. And so I had, my daughter had came home from school one day and was like, mom, we saw this documentary at school and it was What the Health on Netflix. And so we watched it together as a family. And then um, I was like, hmm. It was kind of like a light bulb moment when they started talking about, you know, not all diseases are hereditary. Sometimes we can eat the same thing that will cause the same disease in your family. Mm -hmm. My mama died at 51 of a very rare disease, ALS. Mm -hmm. There's Sorry no cause and there's no cure. And so I started thinking, I was like, well, the only thing that we really have in common is how we ate. And my dad is, at that time, uh, well, now he's 72, but he's still the oldest man to ever live in our family. Mm. And people get sick at young ages, and they die at young ages in my did family. You, you made your dad be vegan? I, I didn't make him, but he did go vegan for a couple of years. He's, he eats like fish and stuff now, but he's still majority plant-based. Okay. But yeah, so that's, that's why I did. It started with a 30-day vegan challenge. After the uh, first 10 days, a headache I'd had for a year and seven months disappeared. And I was like, oh, I'm on to something. Yeah. So after that, the 30 days, I was like, this is going to be my life. I'm feeling like myself again. I'm I'm not in pain. I'm mm. getting energy back. And after a couple months, I literally felt like my old self. How did you How did you get into acting? And like, and how, how hard is that? Because it's like, you know, you from North Carolina and you're like, the only way you feel like you're gonna get your big break is you mm. gotta move out right. to California. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Like all that stuff is scary. I mean, I grew up knowing that it was what I wanted to do, okay. right? Very early, watching the Cosby show, watching mm. Rudy. I was like, I wanna be Rudy's friend and ring the doorbell next time. <laughs> <laughs> and so my mom was like, Oh, that means you wanna be an actress, right? Yeah. And so I I remember going to school, we had a music teacher named Miss Stanley. And I said, Miss Stanley, I wanna be an actress. Mm. And so she was like, oh. So whenever we had plays, she would give me little speaking roles and stuff, you know, at school. And yeah. so I would do, you know, dancing and singing and acting at school. And uh, then I would do church plays and any type of fashion show, anything I could. You know, the daycare was having stuff and they have a fashion show. I'm like, oh, I, I'll, I'll be in the fashion show. You know, I'll do whatever. Uh, community theater, high school, I took drama. Mm -hmm. It was just always something I desired yeah. and I wanted to do it. And so, uh, I didn't have a, I guess I didn't have a plan. I just had the dream. Mm -hmm. And so we moved to California. I moved to California the first time. <laughs> like what, what is going on, sir? <laughs> I moved to California the first time, 98. Uh, but I won't in LA. It was a, catastrophe it was terrible um and moved back to north carolina in 99 and kind of got stuck there because uh, mm -hmm. i ended up having a baby me and chance got married and we had a lot of new responsibilities and i had kind of convinced myself that no i can't have this this dream that i have you know yeah and then god uh woke me up one morning it felt like an earthquake in greensboro and i felt the bed shake and my skin felt like it was burning Mm -hmm. And I heard a voice that sounded like thunder. And the voice said, this is not the life I planned for you. And I got scared. And I was like, okay, Lord. I saw a prayer. I was like, if this is you speaking to me, I need you to show me a sign today. Like, if not, I'm about to go to the hospital because mm -hmm. I think I'm going crazy, mm -hmm. right? And later that day, we was uh, on our way to the mall. And Buster Brown, who was like our, uh, the DJ on the radio, he was like the biggest DJ at that time. He was like, hey, this is Buster Brown. I got a new TV show on the WB, and I'm holding auditions for a female co-host. I was like, oh, my God. No auditions ever happened in our town. Mm -hmm. And I feel I, like in that moment, we was in the car going to the mall. I told Chance, that's my sign. That's the sign I pray God for, you know. So I ended up going to audition, and I booked it. Nice. That's the thing that got me back dreaming. And yeah. I was hosting. Uh, I started back doing theater. And, you know, I would go and do, like, uh, extra work at One Tree Hill in Wilmington, North Carolina. I was doing whatever I could. And then we decided in uh, 04 to move back to LA so I could pursue it. And I've been pursuing it ever since. I love performing, mm -hmm. right? I do all these other things now that most people know me for. Yeah. Sometimes people will see old, old movies that I did. I was like, Auntie Tab, is that you? I'm like, yeah, it's old Tab, though. She, you know, she <laughs> won't free. <laughs> but I was out here cutting up, right? Yeah. You know, I used to do stand up. I uh, there. I didn't know you did stand up. Yeah, but some, it it does people, make sense. You know, some people it, would say that town kind of funny sometimes. It does make sense. <laughs> I actually be thinking about getting back on stage some days. Why not? You know, I might. 
Like you, you done like book tours and stuff like that. I remember yeah. you came out to Chicago. Like that was yeah. That was book cool. tours is is different. You know, it's conversation. This is what we would be doing on stage, like yeah. at the book tour, absolutely. Just like this. Yeah, this is and a book I couldn't. Tour. I already know what you're gonna. I couldn't do it because uh, I was not gonna bring it up. You brought it up, Spice. If you didn't want to be my moderator, just it, say no, that. no, don't, don't, don't do that. You already yeah. know, like I had yeah. something to do with Ant. I think it was wrestling or something like that yeah, at that he, time. He had, we yeah. go all year round, Tab. Yeah, listen, y'all be busy, dude. I didn't like these kids. Be they? They will give you. They will I, take your life. <laughs> I had an idea, but when you in the middle of it, it's yeah. like, oh my gosh! Like I gotta go. I gotta leave tomorrow. Just so I can be back in time for the game. See, like so, like but the dedication that we have to be in parents and to our children. Like we're great parents. It's unbelievable. Oh, but I didn't know you was under that black. I'm sorry. It's unbelievable. Yeah, like it's 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 all year round. Like so, yeah. football. Right after football, you go right into wrestling. Mm-hmm. Right after wrestling, you go right into track and field. And I'm at this Monday through Saturday. Oh yeah. Monday through Saturday, yeah. it's oh, like you get Sundays off. Bless you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's we, that's the day to sleep You know, sleep we basketball in. too, so uh, they they be having games on Sunday. Too, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So yeah. you like all over the place, like like Blackie. Yeah, it's all over the place. That it's it's that fan that he, he don't like it. <laughs> that's what it is. So he getting so out of here. So what's what's motherhood like for you and like trying to juggle like everything that you're doing with books and mm. Donna's recipe and like everything you got going. Motherhood. It's, it's a lot is first before all of that stuff you know um you know being a wife is is priority number one and then being a mother Mm -hmm. comes comes after that and it is my foundation my family i I love being a mama Mm -hmm. we ain't got but one left in the house right because you know choice just grew on up on us you know she's 22 now um and leah never you know she came when she was grown and, and stayed with us for a while and stuff but um I adore being a mother and I, I adore my children. And uh, now that Quest is 11 and I know how quick I can wake up and he'll be 20. Mm-hmm. Every day I just be like, I'm going to take my time with it. Yeah. Any any time I can dedicate and spend with him, any extra time, I'm trying, I'm, I'm like you, I don't want to miss no games. Yeah. Because I do travel a lot. So when I'm home and he got some, I want to go. I'm going to that school. Mm-hmm. I'm doing all the things. So uh, and also having like our little days. Like let's go to the get our little. I'm trying to get him, especially as an athlete, because he is, to start learning early how to take care of his like feet and his hands. Yeah. And so getting his like pedicure and manicure <laughs> and stuff like that. Because y'all, for whatever reason, men just be neglecting themselves when it comes to self care like that. And so I want to teach him early. Like no, you. These are the things that are going to carry you. These yeah. feet are carrying you around. You got to take care of them, right? These hands are are picking up things for you, and and you are blessed to have them. Mm -hmm. We got to take care of them. So, uh, but that's that's motherhood for me. Just and also the biggest thing for for me in motherhood is learning from my children, because our children have so much to teach us if we allow them. Very true. Mm -hmm. Very true. Like I'm learning all about this Snapchat stuff (laughs) and all of that. That's the Uh, one I still don't know how to do. I I ain't got Snapchat. I don't know. I ain't never (laughs) been on it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm rarely on it, but yeah. like, I know that's that's what he likes, that's what he does, or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I might like, need to get on there with the kids. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a whole nother world, man. It's like I don't like try to take the time to learn something else. Yeah. Like I get Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, and right. so now it's like they come with like our, all this other stuff. Like they on Be Real and like all that. You heard of this? I ain't never even heard of that. Yeah, be Real. So, yeah, they, but I be out here being real, so. I think that's enough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm already real. Right, right. Well, like, there's that's so it. much stuff to do, man. Yeah. Are you you gonna get a video game? Like, I mean, you got everything. Video- <laughs> what I'm gonna do on the video game? I don't know. Like, I'll be on there. The competition, you, you cooking. You can do what anything do. these days, man. Like, we all you can, can go around and go to different restaurants. Look, I'm gonna take tab here, whatever. That like, it's all type of stuff you can do. These that's a days. good idea. Yeah. Let me think. We just, just came make up a with some. I got a children's show though. Yeah, I haven't. Toby's been on. Uh, several people have been on. I but, just, but, just but not Spice, me. I, I didn't even know that you wanted to do that because I was going to ask you when I had asked you to moderate, I was going to ask you about being on tab time. But since you didn't show up to moderate, I didn't get to ask you. Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Would you want to do it? 
Yep. Really? Sure. You like acting and stuff? Yeah. I, you know what you should do? What should I do? You should pretend to be like, you know, an uncle, right? <laughs> like, you know, and do like sketches and stuff. See, that's how we go, man. You should have a food, have a food show. You know what? You should do sketches. <laughs> but yeah, when tab time returns, I'll let you know. Okay. We'll bring it. We'll bring you on in. Okay. Y'all, y'all heard it. Yeah. Y'all heard Tab say this. Yeah. Yeah. See, how do you, you how do you deal with negativity? It's a it's a lot of people who hate on Tab. Like Tab, yeah. is, Tab don't really be living her life like that. Tab is fake. Yeah. Like Tab ain't real. Like, like how do you, how you deal with? It? Well, you know those people don't know me, so for me to um, deal with that, it's a waste of time, mm-hmm. right? Um, but I also embrace the fact that a lot of people don't like me um especially when people be like oh she's not a really a positive person ain't nobody that happy yeah it just means i i gotta work harder on loving even more people Mm -hmm. because i realize there's a lot of people out there who they've never experienced this type of love Mm -hmm. right they also haven't allowed god to truly come inside but some people don't even deserve that energy though they do they do yeah they do Oh, honey. they just they deserve to be loved everybody deserves no i'm talking about your energy that you know what I'm saying that you gonna give to them for them being negative. They don't. Yeah, but it ain't direct, right? But I that means me being who I am. Mm-hmm. I have to touch more lives, love more people, always show up for people, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm really my assignment is to to spread God's love, right? That's truly to me what God has placed me here to do. Mm-hmm. And I just saw this the other day. It was like an old uh, sermon that T.D. Jakes did. He said, some people will honestly just hate you because you're blessed. Mm. And they can't shake the thing that's going on inside of them that they're battling. So they're angry with you because you are able to overcome whatever you may have overcame um, and because you're blessed. And so if you hate me, honey, I know it ain't got nothing to truly do with me. Mm -hmm. It's Especially when you don't know me. Yeah. You know, so I know God bless them people. They ain't my business. <laughs> God bless them all. How did you get into uh, the seasoning? Because like, I be cooking. I know that. I be out here cooking. You didn't know that? So they, I know they you just didn't know approached you and they were just like, hey. It was uh, actually very organic. Okay. So during the pandemic, I was cooking like I always did, you know, and McCormick had uh, reached out about me, you know, collaborating with them on a recipe. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, absolutely. And I did like a um, garlic pasta because everybody know I love my garlic uh, garlic powder. And so I was like, yeah, let's do it. So I had did that and I did it live and cooked. Mm-hmm. And I used to do, always go live back then. And so they were like, uh, have you ever thought about, you know, maybe doing your own spice? I was like, actually, I was actually trying to do that, but. I don't understand the world of, you know, spices and trying to get all the things. Yeah. So that's how it came to be. And I flew to Baltimore and went into the lab and picked all my ingredients and had the most amazing time in the test kitchen. And I was like, I like this. <laughs> and we launched uh, the first one, which was Sunshine, and yeah. it sold out in, what, 26 minutes. And that's I was like, crazy. oh, the people like it. They like the seasoning. That's crazy. I just put that on some uh, some chicken or something like that I made. But I've been on a, this vegetarian diet now for like two months now. Really? Yeah. I did it for a whole year. Um, maybe Not vegan, but vegetarian. Vegetarian, yeah. Okay, you can't let that cheese I can't, go. Uh, no. I can't. There's a lot of vegan options now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That you can but, you know, maybe try for a couple of days mm. with no dairy. Because then that mucus. It but then you. also, like, when you travel, it's like, it's, it's really hard then because you go to restaurants and you'd be like, I want the vegan option. And they send something out and they'd be like, yeah, this is vegan. And yeah. then you'd be like, how? And then they can't tell you. Yeah. So it's like. But when it becomes your way of life, you'll know how to order. Right. I I can go to a steakhouse and still get a whole vegan meal because yeah. I know how to tell them to prepare it. I know what to tell. Hey, get, let me get these mushrooms, saute them, let me get some spinach, let me get a baked potato, no butter. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, a little salad with. Uh, balsamic yeah uh, there's just you just got to know how to eat yeah that's and when true. it becomes like a normal way of life for you then it's not hard <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if i can do it tab listen i didn't well, you know what i didn't think i could do vegetarian yeah and i did it i was vegetarian uh when i turned 15 for five years so uh me and chance when we moved in together chance 
is is vegan too? No, he but he did he did it for. So you two would still years. make a steak for a chance? Oh no, oh no. So you don't you don't cook it? Uh uh-uh. uh. No, we let's let's go back. I haven't had red meat or pork since I was fifteen. I never went back to that. Okay. I only went back to like fish and chicken uh, when me and Chance moved in together because he used to be making it look so good. Mm. Uh, and so then he stopped eating red meat and pork because I didn't eat it. So Chance hasn't had it in like 22 years because of the age of choice. But then when I went vegan, he didn't go. Mm. Uh, and then two years into my journey, he was like, you know what, I'm gonna give it another chance. And so he did it for like two years and now he back to eating fish and, and chicken. Okay. He was like, all right, that was fun. And now, you know, so, but I will cook like still everything vegan and he'll still eat it. Mm-hmm. But he'll eat like, he'll order his chicken or he'll order, you know, fish or whatever. And I'll still cook whatever and he'll eat sides and, I could throw some in the oven, but I can't. I used to be able to like cut the chicken and do all. And it, it turns my stomach. Out. Now it's a thought yeah. for me. Like it's flesh. It's it's a it's a dead animal. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. So who's the better cook between you and Chance? Now come on. I don't. I mean, Chance you just ain't. said you just hey. said Chance made some chicken and it looked so good. When did I say that? You just said that. You said when you when you. I uh, said he used to eat it and he used to make it look so good. Oh yeah, you get okay, roll that okay. back. I thought Chance you said. ain't he no, no. <laughs> now I, you know what? Back in the day though, when we used to like before kids and stuff, it'd just be me and him. Mm. He would sometimes like you know make some little stuff. You, you gotta know. go all the way back there. Yeah. Oh okay. But then some type of way he convinced me that he couldn't cook, and I believed it, and I've been cooking for twenty five <laughs> years. <laughs> Hilarious. So, but yeah, no chance doesn't cook. Every blue moon, he might, you know, do a little something. But mm-hmm. yeah, he, you know, he he got about five dishes in him. <laughs> ha- hamburger helper, you know, with a little ground turkey. Mm-hmm. Sometimes he, you know, he'll use a plant based meat. Uh, he going he can make some breakfast now. He can scramble up, you know, some little eggs and stuff. <laughs> um, you know, he he might even boil water and throw some the, grits the in. Easy it. stuff, huh? Yeah, but he he ain't doing that. <laughs> yeah. How often do y'all get back to North Carolina? Oh, all the time. Oh, y'all go all the time. Oh, yeah. All, all our family there. We're the um, only ones that don't, you know, are not there. So your whole family is in that area. In Eden, yep. That, that's His mama there, my daddy there, my sister. Y'all the whole population. Everybody there. <laughs> Everybody there. <laughs> we all up in there. What, what was it like, like incorporating your dad into like your podcast and everything like that? Like, Oh, was that, that was, was amazing. That cool? You know, because everybody, you know, kind of like how you know I'm a daddy's girl. Everybody know I'm a daddy's girl. So... When he was out here visiting, I was like, "Did you want to do prizes to have a chance? He said, well, you know, I... Like, I saw him yeah. when y'all were doing the song and everything. He yeah, like, yeah. Chance be trying to, you know, talk junk about my daddy. <laughs> you know, he loved my daddy. My, and my daddy loved Chance. Does your dad golf? No. He, oh, now, okay. This is the funny thing. So he needs something to talk trash about. He told about. Chance, he said, you know, I tried golfing years ago, and I just want no good at it. He said, uh, but then I found out I had a left-hand club, and that was... <laughs> <laughs> my daddy ain't left hand. <laughs> so my daddy got big hands. I did right? that to my father-in-law club one time. See, I was like, man, why is this doing this? It ain't working. Oh, man. So, so Chance always telling my daddy because his hands is big because my daddy was a hard worker. He got big hands. He got working hands. I told Chance he don't know nothing about that because he ain't did no hard work. He only like missed 12 days of work. Look at Jr. over there laughing, right? <laughs> and, so, and he used to lay carpet. My, and my daddy, and he a barber. He still is a barber now. Uh-huh. But, um, so Chance, I'm a man, you had a left hand club and your hands is big, man, you probably out there tearing up stuff, right? So that's how they, they go back and forth like that. But now, my daddy said he went to uh, like a pawn shop to get him some clubs so he could start practicing because he did go to the driving range with Chance while he was out here. Mm-hmm. And so he was like, I, I think I'm gonna try to get into it so I can I can play with my son-in-law when I come back out there, so, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, so what, is there anything that you haven't done that you, like you wish you would have did, like dang man, I wish I would have did that when I had the chance. Oh shoot, that's like a all kind of bunch stuff, of huh? stuff. <laughs> man, I'm just getting started, really, know. you know. Um. You know, I, I definitely want to travel more, mm-hmm. like go out of the country. We we didn't go out of the country for two reasons. One, we had no money for a very long time. And two, because Chance used to always be afraid to leave the country. Mm-hmm. And so he would always think that he was going to be the person that got kidnapped. He'd be like, they're going to get me. <laughs> they're going to get me, right? <laughs> it was always going to be him. Um, so I, I definitely, like my desire is to go to Africa. Like I want to go so bad. Oh, me too. you ain't never been. Man, oh. we might need to all plan a trip. Yep. 
Okay, I'm gonna get there. Hey, Daryl, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. We Um, gonna get there. Yeah, we gonna get there. Sure, Uh, I want to go to Ghana. Yeah, I want to go to Ghana. Have you ever did your ancestry, Mm -hmm. like your your blood um, test, or Mm -hmm. or no? I ain't go no far back then. My great granddaddy. Oh, okay. Well, I did the uh, like ancestry.com or 23andMe or whatever it was, Mm. and mine was uh, Nigeria. Was like my, I think I had like 48 or 50. (laughs) something like that was the highest percentage for me Mm -hmm. so i was like oh i gotta go and you know visit nigeria and see like where i'm from like where my ancestors were from yeah so um but i would love to do that uh i would love to make that a documentary too and uh yeah like you know jr gotta gotta, gotta go then just a whole lot you know i want to do that i I honestly do want to uh talk show um i want to do like more movies and what what we gotta do then do we oh, gotta, it's, it's we gotta, gotta go to change dot org to get you like but, to get this talk show. <laughs> well, I've had offers, but it's gotta be the right way. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, there's there's many things. I I want to create a a doll for children. You know, I want to uh, create games for families, like not a video game, but games that like where we have games? to communicate. Well, I had you know I did a couple little games with Target, but I want. Well, something that's a little bit more interactive that involves everybody. Mm. How was right. Essence Fest for you? Man. I, that's, I think that's the last time we saw each other. Yep. And Essence you, was amazing. Yeah. It always is. I, said, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even, uh, I didn't see you. I heard you. <laughs> and then I, I jumped like, out the car on you. I said, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, look at oh, look me. At I'm at Essence. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Rolling your little bags in. Yeah. I see you now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you, you too that good, was to, so say, funny, too good man. to say hello. I was like, you know, I was in husband mode. Like, then yeah. I'm like, I'm trying to make sure the wife is good. And that, that, that. Yeah. I'm like, that was my first time finally getting to meet her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was good. That was the, cause she, uh, I forget what happened when I came down for the book tour. Like, she may have been back with the kids or something like yeah. that. So, yeah, but that's that's my wife, man. She be playing the background a lot of times. Like, she'd be like, you go ahead, you handle it, whatever. Yeah. How long have y'all down. been married? 17, 17, 17 years. And y'all yeah. been together for how long? Uh, 19. Okay, didn't 19, take you 20. long to ask. Very no, good, no, no, Spice. No. Like, I, I knew. Good. I knew <laughs> without a shadow of a doubt. Like, yeah. And I was just, I was on the pivot with uh, Ryan Clark, Channing Crowder, and uh, Fred Taylor, and I was telling them about, like, how uh, my family and her family, like, we've known each other since 94. So, oh, wow. So y'all yeah. kind of grew up together? Mm-hmm. Oh, amazing. Yeah. So there's a picture of when I saw her off the prom. Uh-huh. And uh, I'm, like, in the background of her and her little date. Her little, <laughs> little date, date that she took to the, to the wow. prom. Wow. So you was in there looking at your future wife. Yep. Oh. Yep. That's amazing. But I, I, I knew... Um, Cause she's she's a pharmacist, uh-huh. and I would call her um, when she went to FAMU. I was at Penn State, oh, so okay. I call her like on a weekend sometime on Saturday, uh-huh. and she'd be like, "I'm at the library." I'm like, "Come on, at the library? On like Saturday. it's nine o'clock? Yeah, it's nine o'clock at night, Saturday night. You at yeah. the library?" She's like, "Yeah," but she definitely was. You know what I'm saying? But is that is that what made you know? Cause she was at the library? No, no, oh, no, no. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "She ain't wild. She she at so, the library." I was uh, in a relationship at the time, oh, okay. and I was getting ready to break it up. Uh-huh. And so my mom was like, I'm going to set you up on this date. And I'm like, uh-huh. I'm like a date with who? She's like, well, one of my girlfriend's daughter or whatever. I'm like, mine ain't no charity case. I ain't about to just be taking people out like that. Yeah. And then I was like, Ma, if you don't tell me who this person is, I'm not going. I promise you I'm not leaving this house. Yeah. So she's like, all right. Like I set up, I set up a date with you at AC. So I was like, AC? Hold on, let me. <laughs> let me get myself yeah, let, me, let me go get yeah, ready. Yeah. Let me go get ready. Yeah. Uh, let me borrow $100. Okay. <laughs> Cause if you set it up, I'm gonna need you to set that bank well, account she said up. AC, too. I was like, oh yeah, sign oh, me up twice. So I love it. went out on our date and everything, and I was like, man, I'm I'm feeling her, whatever. Da da da. Long story short, I was you know just calling her over the weekends and stuff like that, and then um, well one day I was like, you know, I, I want to come visit. Yeah, I'm gonna come visit you in Tampa, 
And uh, we was getting ready to start training camp at Penn State. And I was like, because it's, it's just brutal. It's hard. It's two a days. It's hot. Mm. It's humid. It's like all of these things. And, so uh, you used to play football at Penn State? Yep. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so let's let's let's, let's dive into that. I went oh, to Penn State. Yeah. Then got drafted to San Francisco 49ers. Played oh. out there four years. And then I played five years with the Bears. Oh, so you played football. It's amazing. Yep. I never knew that. I'm an, I'm an athlete. I'm an, I'm an actual. Are you still an athlete? athlete, or are you just active? No, I'm a, I'm an athlete. Okay. Yeah, I just look like this. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm really athletic. You know what I mean? I'm an athlete. I just look like this. Yeah, but I I, I saw the way that you move and things like that. What you mean you like, saw the way that I move? It doesn't look pretty athletic. <laughs> it just looked like you're moving. You know? <laughs> Did Chance pay you? No. To, y'all have this a little. Is, Y'all Chance had a look. is an athlete, and when athletes How see, come Chance like, can be an athlete, athletes and, but I can't Because be... I, I, saw, I saw Chance move. Did you see me on ESPN? No. When they featured me? I didn't. Because I shot the ball from way downtown with my son. Mm. Did and they it, edit the shot? No, it out? was a real video. Oh, okay. I didn't see it. But it, insert it right here. As much as you, <laughs> as much as you <laughs> talk about you being an athlete, I would have thought I had seen it by now. In my younger years. Oh, younger years. How now, far do we got to go back? I told you. 10th grade? 7th seventh, seventh grade is when you started, you said. I was cheering before then. Oh, Then okay. I went into Well, basketball. you got to be some type of athlete Oh, and cheer. I played soccer. In third grade. <laughs> <laughs> I was, on, I, I did You was, you was nice in soccer? No, I wasn't that great. No, okay. I was fast, though. Cause my why, legs, why did you run track? Because I was playing basketball, and then when I got hurt, I couldn't do that. I ain't that fast. <laughs> I ain't I ain't like that type of track player, <laughs> like that kind of runner. So what is what is one thing that I can't look on Wikipedia and find out about you? That like not a lot of people know that you do or that you're mm-hmm. involved with. You know what I'm saying? Because now, like, I can go to Instagram and I could basically see everything that you're involved mm-hmm. with. Is there something about Tab that not a lot of people know? Like, because with me, not a lot of people know that I studied Japanese mm. in high school and college. And I could hold a conversation konnichiwa. with like a, yeah, konnichiwa. Mm. Boku no nami wa Anthony Des. Nope. Hajime maste dozo Roshiku. So a lot of people don't mm. know that, that I could I hold a conversation with like a two or three year old. But, mm. you know, it's, oh, I'm, okay. I'm super rusty. I would like to go to Japan, too. Like, I yeah. want to go to Africa. Yeah. No doubt. But I want to go to Japan. So too. you can speak your Japanese? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I took four years of Spanish. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. In my <laughs> high school, we had Spanish, uh-huh. Latin, and German, and Japanese. Japanese came when we were in 11th grade. Okay. And I was like, ain't no way in the world I'm taking had, it. That's what I'm saying. I couldn't understand I wanted to how to do they something write that it. nobody else wanted to do. All my friends that did take it, they was failing. For real? Oh, they was like, nah, oh, this I, hard. I liked it. So you knew how to do, do write and the everything. Characters? It became yep. easy so for it's, you. So uh, it's uh, hiragana, it's kanji, and it's katakana. So hiragana for me is the easiest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hiragana. Yeah. Yep. Or, but origami. That's that's me. That's stop. <laughs> that's 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 art. Is okay. it Japanese art though? Origami? Uh-huh. That's like how you make the papers. Right, but is, but is that originated in Japan, Japan yeah. right? So that's what I'm saying. I know, I but I'm off. talking about hiragana. Hiragana is characters. Oh. Yeah, so there's two different things. Like characters, like actors? No, like <laughs> our alphabet. <laughs> got it. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't know. You got to you tell yeah, people because we don't, we don't know. Yep, yep. Um, I don't really know this. <laughs> I, I, mean, I want I want an exclusive. Like an you, exclusive. you go on the podcast and all that, and you know you hear stories. Yeah. And like I heard this story before. Is it a story <sighs> what is that, that not a lot of people know about Tab? You know something that you haven't. And I'm putting you on front street. I'm trying to think of what's something that people don't know. I mean, I used to always hide. Like, but you're an open book. I I am. You're an open book. So. Um, you know. I mean, well, like you, you made some chicken yesterday that you don't want nobody to know <laughs> some about. Chicken? You, you made some ribs. <laughs> you made some ribs the other day. I most certainly did not. But what's funny is that we went on date night last night and Kev ordered that ribs. I wasn't invited to. It was date night. AC was not here. Okay. I could have FaceTimed her. Uh, It'd have been like she's there. So, 
what is something that that people may not know? But I, I mean, Blackie, is it? Where's you know? I give love me, give, give, give me the secrets, Blackie. Oh, because Blackie has seen it all. I don't know. The, you know, the, the secret that I used to keep was you know that how I dream about people and and can see things. You've witnessed that. I have. <laughs> I have. Um, and, but I don't hide that anymore. You know, so. it's something you told me that is starting to like come true. We talk about it off. We talk about it off though. Mm, but yeah. Right. Very good. Mm-hmm. Okay. It is very good. All right. This is awesome. Yeah. Um We talk about it. Okay, we'll talk about it. Mm-hmm. Uh I don't know. I'm trying to think of what's something about me that people don't it's it's yeah, hard because you're an open book. I do. I pretty much I do share a lot. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I, there's some things I you don't that, overshare. I don't overshare. Yeah, you yeah. you 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 got a nice. Yeah, you, you keep you it, respectfully yeah. keep certain things. You know. <laughs> uh, now, how do you keep your private life private? Yeah, because I I share what I know I want to share, mm-hmm. and what a is line. respectful for my family. You know, with my husband, mm-hmm. my children, my daddy. Um, you know. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I don't know. Do I, I don't know if we, we was just talking about this the other day in the kitchen, because I always tell people I was a hippie in, in high school, right? <laughs> and so, I was like, I was a hippie, like Mary Jane hippie too. But I was like, no, I was like the Mary, Mary Jane hippie as well. Like, but my dad didn't. He didn't know oh, that, okay. I, that I was out there with Mary Jane. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, Blackie. Stop being dramatic. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't really know. Yeah, there's really nothing I can think of that people wouldn't already kind of know about me. That's good then. Yeah, I don't. That's good. I don't know. Maybe if chances we didn't, we didn't, we didn't like, spread it, you thin. Well, you know, I ain't spread thin, but I just spread the love and and a little bit of information. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how how are things going for you? Like, do you feel like there's so much more to do, or like, have you reached your plateau? Or oh, that's just like I'm just you know getting started. Like I'm I'm good with everything I got going on right now. I can't add nothing else. No, I be I be taking stuff off the plate, mm. and then you know you look at the plate and be like, okay, I, I'm eating enough on this plate right now. You draw it on the board and, and everything. Then, just like look at it. like you got a vision board. I used to always do vision boards. I journal and, you know, I voice oh, record real? a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm. And so, I think I um, need to start doing that. Yeah, it's good. But uh, I I can see stuff, you know, and know, like, okay, this is coming. This I'm, I want to do this, this, and this. Mm-hmm. But um, it, I, I, I still feel like I'm just starting, you know. So I'm excited about doing more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're so young. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you. Oh Lord. Oh, I just, I just, I just want you to look at this, and uh, see. <laughs> oh, I don't know what this is. I just, I, I, I want you to look at this, right? Uh huh. And tell me, tell me, tell me what this says right here. Oh Lord. What's what's that say right there? What? What? Yes. What is that? This sentence. Say oh, right here. say park in front and come up the sidewalk to the. Oh, you can up. see it, huh? Oh, <laughs> you trying? <laughs> oh, you trying to play about my eyesight? Nah, I saw you looking earlier. No, you, you see, was... I had to take it back. I can. You can't have it too close. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. <laughs> you know what? My eyes. I I have very good eyesight, uh, Spike. <laughs> but you ain't nobody trying to hold no phone up to here. But the issue is <laughs> when I be having my little hot flashes and stuff, sometimes I need to, you know. Yeah, we got the fan though. You know what I'm saying? Shut up. <laughs> is that I something can, you want to talk about? You want to talk about the, the hot I, flashes? Oh, what I is be, I don't know. Like I don't know. I am what I know they my call mom sometimes. You know, well, you gonna need to know because it's gonna yeah, like it's let, gonna come to your me. house. I need to. I need uh, to know. I'm in the perimenopause uh, phases, which is the early stages of menopause, as they mm-hmm. call it. So I'm just starting to have like my body just is overheating. Like I, at night, it's the worst. Like hot flashes. Really? Chance what do you What do you do about it? Turn that air up. 
Just turn the air up. Okay. <laughs> like I need, you know, the thing but you is, could drink something though, right? I mean, like, I have. I always keep, you know, water on my nightstand. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, as a woman, we got to go through the change. Yeah. Right. Our body is is inevitably it has to, um, pretty much break down this reproductive system mm-hmm. and cleanse out, and that takes can take up to fifteen years. It's a long process. Does it make you mean? Oh no, but I I do know that. Well, not me personally. Some people may say that you know, but it does make you emotional sometimes. Your because it's all hormonal, so your mm-hmm. hormones is all over the place. Um, I'm just trying to figure you know, it out. But I'm just trying to figure it out, like just in case you know oh, it happened on, on my end. Oh yeah, but you definitely become more sensitive, in mm-hmm. my opinion. Um, sometimes irritable. Right, not necessarily mean. Mm-hmm. I think that people who get mean, uh, like you know, when women own they they cycle or going through menopause and they get mean, mm-hmm. that ain't that ain't really got nothing to do with that. That's who you really are, mm-hmm. and that just pushes you more into it. Gotcha. Because you can, everybody is hormonal and you can get emotional, um, but meanness is something different. I mean, like you, you got something else you need to work out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Is yeah. That- Something that you would like, some advice you would give to people who would like to be in Tabitha Brown shoes. Like, I, I see what Tab is doing, and I'm mm. inspired. Like, mm. I, I want to do this. Is it some advice you can give some people out there that's that's watching? Um, I think the first thing is that never want to be in my shoes. Right? <laughs> right. Like, your shoes are enough for you. Like, you're worthy to have your own journey. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm grateful to be inspiring to people. Um, and if anything that I can like encourage people to do is just be who you are, you know, stay free. Mm-hmm. Don't conform. Cause you were a different tab. I was a different tab. Mm-hmm. I used to conform all the time. Code switch, cover my accent, wear my hair one way, yep. try to fit in. Right. And, and be quote unquote normal. Um, but you know, Fitting in mean, baby, ain't nobody ever going to notice you. You know, you fitting in. How are they going to see you? Mm-hmm. So stand out. Be who you are. Uh, be consistent. You know, if you have this desire and this dream, work on it every day. It don't got to be a massive work every day. But every day, do something towards your dream. Um, and that's where the consistency will pay off. Mm-hmm. So, and show up for yourself. Right? A lot of times we waiting on other people to show up for us, and yeah. then we get discouraged. Don't worry about them people. Show up for you. You show up for you. And uh, keep going until it happens. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Tab. That but was, this was amazing. Yeah. Was very good. Talk. Good, good talk. Thank you, Spice. You got anything you, you want to you um, I've, I've learned so much. <laughs> learned so much. Well, I'm very proud of you. You're the best. Thank you. You know, I'm, I'm happy to see that you're doing uh, what you desire to do on your time and your way. Yep. So very good. Keep going and be consistent. Thank you. Stay spice. Yep. You know I'm going to do that. <laughs> I don't do nothing else. Should we end it how I end my videos? Yes, let's do it. Okay, well, very good. How we do it? Uh, we tell the people, y'all, uh, thank y'all for watching and going about y'all business <laughs> and have the most amazing day. Yes. But even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's here. Yeah. God bless y'all. <laughs> oh, there we go.